what's up y'all so here's the backpack um, I was on eBay I was looking what's up you guys I was on eBay looking for a backpack I ride my 20 inch BMX bike I also go on a lot of day hikes at this point I'm not going overnight hiking I'm not really too far out from civilization with anything that I'm doing so I want a decent uh, backpack that I could do kind of both something I could do both so I was online and I found this Osprey Talon 22 and I just wanted to do a review on it and kind of talk about what do I throw in my bag I'm still relatively new to putting some certain items in so I'm just going to show what I have in there this is not a complete like uh, kit or anything because as I the more I get out the more and more things I find that I need etc but anyway I want to talk about this I actually got this for like sixty dollars from eBay brand new this was a size small medium a small medium I initially thought maybe the medium large was the way to go but I got the small medium and I've adjusted it um, I've packed as high as maybe 15 20 pounds in here and it seems to be fine so I'll let you see uh, I'm 5'9 I'm 145 pounds 32 inch waist so it's got a uh, cinch cord right here a clip plastic also another one here It's got a pocket here. Maybe put some bear spray or some little mace or something in there. I have, well, which I'm also going to talk about, I have gotten a um, camelback or a, ther um, a water reservoir. The one that I got I'll talk about has a pump and also um, a nozzle. So you'll see here, uh, I can put them under this strap, run them through there, maybe. But for now, they both set just fine in here. There's a little thing here, push in, that you can tighten and loosen. But that's about how I like it here. I can ride down the street, get that out, no problem. Riding one-handed, also uh, if I'm just hiking and walking. So that seems to be fine. So there is a place for that. If you, anybody's wondering about the, uh, I'll, if I had to get the name, I'll show you the water pack for the double. So there is, it's doable um, down on the sides let me lower this I do want to talk about this and anybody out there who's got the large medium large can maybe tell me um, the pockets here don't go all the way like maybe to here so I have to kind of finagle like I really have to kind of stretch back to get them to work but I'm kind of getting used to it once I put something in there so maybe the, the bigger unit the large would be slightly better because um, this one I've got probably as big as it's gonna get to fit my frame I don't think I could go much smaller so I may be able to go take the medium large and go as small as it gets and work from there but for now this one I've had it out on a let's see about a 16 mile hike and like today I rode my bike like 22 miles had maybe 15 pounds in it I'll show you what I've got I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I have in it just for my riding around and uh, just day hiking stuff for the most part um, so yeah, you got your things, fits good, it's got room for these, they don't hang around too much. Uh, the pockets here, it does actually fit my, I carry an old school iPod. And I'll kind of show you something else that I do. Uh, also that's cool with this backpack. So, there's that, it's big enough to fit the iPod. Um, so, let me take this thing off real quick. Um, this backpack, actually, I'm going to set this down real quick, hang on. Alright guys, uh, so far, like I say, this is the Osprey, the Talon 22, and I'm going to just show you guys the gear and stuff that I've got, talk about the backpack as well as all my other stuff, um, and if anybody has any ideas, tips, or anything that maybe I could do better or worse, etc. Anyway, um, first of all, I will talk about... If you look right here in the backpack, so here's well, here's the the back, and then the very closest. Let me show this to you. 
Actually, on this backpack, there's some Velcro right here. And this slides up and down. So technically, I have it. You guys can see here. But you can go all the way up. So you can actually make this a lot smaller on your shoulders to fit. So there is a lot of adjustability. There's also some straps here that you can tighten. So there's a lot of adjustability. So you can make it fit. Um, let's see. I want to talk about this. I have a JBL Bluetooth. And this does come with a side pocket for a drink, etc. But since I'm riding my bike and hiking, I kind of like to have this. It does add some weight, but um, hook this up also to I just showed you to my iPod. So if I don't want to have any headphones in, I want to hear what's going on, I can jam. This thing sounds actually really good. Um, let's see. I carry a Z seat. The rest. Mostly if I'm out on the day hike, if I want to sit down, this is just a foam padded seat. It folds up really nicely. It's super duper light. Like we're talking ounces here. And if you're out somewhere and you want to have some lunch and you've got a wooden picnic table or something, you can actually set this down or if you're in a tent and put your this uh, good uh, items on there your phone keep it keep it safe or whatever but so okay i carry this um, sometimes when i ride my bike i don't take this but uh, let's get back to the on the pack here it's got a, a meshy kind of a stretch so i can run uh, i have a bandana that i keep in there just in case i need to wipe something or clean something or tie something up so this yeah i usually just put right in there like that. For riding a bike, I just don't, I leave it out. Um, on the other side, it's got another place for a drink holder or something, a cup, or anything. Um, one thing, oh, I'll say this. Uh, I have this little cabiner thing, and this hat. Let me talk about this hat real quick. Especially if I'm out. Especially if I'm out hiking. This hat is by uh, Outdoor Research. I think it's saying outdoor research. Uh, I don't even see it. Here we go. Outdoor research. I don't know. It's like UV, blah blah blah. But what's cool it has these two little clips, and I'll show you. Like, but check this out. I'll go ahead and talk about this real quick. When you open it up, well, I carry toilet paper. I've got a uh, this jacket is uh, Patagonia uh, rain jacket. It folds up into his own um, pouch there, so I carry that hiking and biking. Also, yeah, the toilet paper hiking and biking. If I'm out on my bike, I carry a crescent wrench and my Allen bolts and some stuff in case I need to work on my bike. Uh, patch kits, stuff like that. So I definitely have that. So when you look into the bag, oh, I carry a charger for my phone and stuff just in case. So the bag has um, ample room in there. It has some stretch. Here's one thing I do want to talk about. This part here is where the uh, reservoir is. So I'm going to pump the bag here with my pump. And, and the pump actually kind of makes it tight. But when you do that, if you look around to the side, you'll have this bubble right like this, like a bubble in the back of the pack. So you can pack stuff around it, but when you pump it up, it does take away from the space in your bag. Um, inside here, let me finish this. This is the part of the hat I want to show. What this does is it comes around the back and it covers. So if you got bugs and you got like 
gnats and everything. This is totally cool. And it keeps the sun out too if you're super hot. But anyway, that's a totally cool hat. I keep that on my carabiner on the back. Um, has a really cool pocket here. On the inside, this pocket here, I carry my Swiss Army knife. A little Altoid can with uh, Band-Aid, wound seal, um, just some few random uh, ibuprofen and some different, just basic things. I'm out biking and hiking. And finally, it's got one more zip. It's like a, a real soft kind of uh, inner padded thing and a little place to hang your shades maybe. Keep my wallet in there. So yeah, let me pull this out. So this Geiger thing, and it's got two places here, and here's where the pump. So you've got two hoses, and it's a little bulky. Honestly, I've tried a different one. My buddy had it; just had one. And although I didn't have the ability, see, when you pump this up, it's supposed to get. Comp everything full and then when you hit the nozzle it sprays so you have the ability to spray clean something or spray it into your mouth instead of having to suck it which I don't really mind um, to have to withdraw it but there's a little water in there from today still but I don't like to pump up the bag too much because it kind of fills up my backpack but uh, so as far as the Osprey 22 it has this is a 3 liter it slides right in right in the two hoses like I say they fit right into there so yeah you've got that you've got your uh, nice soft pocket on the inside you have another zip pocket and you've got a pretty good amount of room in there but like I say here you're gonna have to build around so the, the fuller that gets and stuff you're gonna have to kind of build around it so but there is some stretch you got here so yeah so, definitely like to leave the tools out if I can, but I don't want to get out there and uh, not have them. So anyway, yeah, that's my bag, and uh, I rode it all over town. I've hiked a, a good little bit, and uh, it's an awesome bag. So the rest of my gear, definitely uh, check on to the hat. And if you like music, this little Bluetooth JBL um, is freaking awesome. Uh, has killer bass, it's pretty loud, plenty loud enough for you to hear riding the bike or, uh, if you're hiking and you want to keep it low, you don't want to have the earplugs in. So yeah, anyway, that's all the stuff I carry, man. I carry pretty light. Uh, even all that was pretty heavy today. After about uh, 18 miles of the 20 mile bike ride, I was definitely uh, ready to get this off my back. So anyway, that's my pack. And uh, the stuff, at least for the most part, I'm going to be adding stuff to it for sure, taking stuff away. But uh, anyway, alright, peace out, y'all.